strategy for marketing to and through your channel partners. Today we have with us here Sam from Structured Web and Mike from RelayWare. First, let's hear a little bit about you, Mike Matero. Can you give us your background? Sure thing, Allison. This is Mike Matero. I'm one of the pre-sales engineers here at RelayWare. And I'm very excited to be here with Structured Web and Sam because um, our product uh, is, a, is an industry-leading software as a service solution for PRM. And I've been with the company for two years now, so I've seen a lot of growth um, as an SDR and now as a pre-sales engineer. Thank you so much, Mike. And, and Sam, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Thanks, Allison. Thank you, Mike. Uh, my name is Sam Olaf, uh, Senior Sales Manager here at Structured Web. I've been with the company um, for about three years now. Um, and just like Mike, we've seen tremendous growth in the channel marketing automation space. We're excited uh, to host this webinar with RelayWare today, um, and uh, we're very excited to get going here. Again, thank you both. So let's kick this off today uh, with Mike Matro and, and telling us a little bit about PRM and how that helps with marketing to your channel partners. Mike? Sure, sure. Well, one of, the, uh, one of the things that we want to clarify right up front is what is the difference between PRM and CMM? They are, it turns out that they are both separate and complementary solutions to each other. Right, exactly, Mike. The CMM and the PRM together, um, you can see here really nicely illustrated by this puzzle piece images where two stand alone, they're, they're great and they do a, a wonderful job, but together is really where we see the power, the benefits of using both of them in, in really engaging your partners with the PRM and helping them to market with your CMM. Great. So a little bit about PRM. Um, PRM is entirely about managing the relationship with your partner. So as partner relationship management would imply, it helps you uh, with sales enablement, it helps you track that partner's sales activity and helps your partners understand their sales activity. And at the end of the day, in this context, we're talking about how you can market to your channel partners using PRM. So there are several areas that, uh, that PRM is, uh, covers, everything from sales tools like deal registration and opportunity management, things in the marketing, uh, marketing area like marketing development funds and co-op programs, co-branding and incentives, We've got everything in the training realm as well. Uh, we're talking about delivering training to your partners and managing their certifications, managing your partner organization's accreditations and specializations, and also giving you as the vendor analytics around partner activity. So understanding what the top 20% of your partners are doing so that you can share that behavior with the middle 60% of your partner ecosystem. So PRM is, uh, on the whole, is giving you a lot of pieces for managing a relationship with your partner. But of course, um, a big part of where we work with Structured Web is in, uh, in CMM. Thanks, Mike. So really where the CMM or the channel marketing management comes into play is to help your, to manage your channel marketing programs. Now throughout the presentation today, we're mostly going to refer to this as a CMM. You attendees might have heard, you know, TPMA or CMA. All those really fall into the same realm of the channel marketing management systems. Uh, where our expertise lies is, is really with the, the sales enablement or the marketing enablement uh, of your channel partners, helping them to market to their end customers with channel demand generation tools, uh, allowing uh, vendors to distribute content, uh, and allowing partners to go in and customize that content to ultimately market, allowing the vendor to market through your partner. So really just, just taking your partners uh, expertise and their, uh, their locale in the market and marketing through them to their end customers. Allowing partners to nurture leads, manage those leads in either a built-in CRM or an integration into their own CRM. Uh, and then finally at the end, uh, wrapping that all up with the channel marketing activity, predictive analytics, reporting, uh, and different tools to really get you that full end-to-end -end view from that first touch email to the final call to action or, or the placed order. That's great, Sam. I mean, that's at the end of the day, these two solutions work really well together, and, and what's really exciting is the fact that we're solving two major issues. How do you, how do you market and stay top of mind in your, uh, in your partner's mind, and how do you stay top of mind with your end customers? And you do that with PRM and CMM working very closely together to, at the end of the day, boost that partner engagement but accelerate that channel revenue. That's really what you want to do at the, at the end of the day. Exactly, and just like the picture describes, the, uh, the automobile can't move without the car. You know, the PRM and the CRM work really well together and help to 
really make that automobile, if we're taking this metaphor, turn that into a sports car uh, and help to improve the, the revenue in your channel programs. So with that, I'll let Mike kind of give an overview of the CRM, uh, starting with RelayWare. All right, so RelayWare is a PRM. It is all about accelerating channel revenue and increasing partner performance. And we do that uh, in, a, in a few major ways, which we'll get through in a, in a moment. But the main aspect that we want to convey is that the reporting functionality and the analytics that comes out of a PRM uh, is, is leaps and bounds different than it used to be uh, years back. So the analytics that we can provide now around partner behavior um, and, and understanding what your partners are doing on the platform and how they're solving, uh, solving some of the challenges that your partners might be facing, that's, what we, that's kind of the analytics that we can give, uh, give to you as well. Um, we are also uh, fully mobile compliant, so we are a mobile responsive site, and we, um, we have Android and iOS apps available, uh, so we are, we are fully mobile prepared and delivering reports and analytics that are taking you to the next generation. So things to keep in mind when you're choosing the right PRM tool. Uh, you want to basically deliver uh, deliver a portal experience that your partners are going to resonate with. What's the experience of your partners when they're coming to your portal where they can access all of the solutions that they need all in one place? That includes sales enablement tools, that includes training and certification tools, and that includes the two partner marketing enablement tools. That's what PRM encompasses, and we're going to go through those tools in just a moment. The portal itself. So the portal itself is the gateway. And this is the way that you're going to, uh, to make a first impression with your partners. You want to have a portal that's going to be fully branded uh, as a best practice. You want it to have a lot of different features on it that they're going to resonate with immediately, like big buttons for, uh, for training programs or deal registration. You want to make it very easy for them to understand what's going on in their ecosystem using the news feed uh, or activity stream that we have in RelayWare. The activity stream for RelayWare, important to point out, is that it's fully system generated and automated. So RelayWare is a PRM. Um, you're looking for an automated solution where you can start to have more interactions with your partners in an automated way. So for, uh, taking the news feed as an example, the activity stream lets your partners see what's going on in their partner ecosystem. They let, they, you can show them what's going on. Uh, with you as a vendor, you can share what deals have been completed, what trainings have been completed, and they can understand what's going on right away as they log into the portal. It's also important to go into the, uh, to show them the collateral. So you want to make it very easy for your partners to access a variety of different pieces of marketing material that they can use to, uh, to better understand your products, to improve their skills from a training standpoint, which we'll get into in a moment. Um, you, want them to, uh, you want them to have easy access, full search capabilities to all of the information that you're going to present to your partners and make sure that it's, it's easy for them to access. The training and certification aspect of RelayWare um, and, and of any good PRM is to deliver in, a, in again, an easy-to-digest format uh, all of the information that your partners need to know about their training and certification. So, in this case, I'm showing you what a partner might see when they log in, and they might see uh, the courses that they have available to them, the courses that, they, um, the courses that they've completed so far. They can also dive in and see what their certifications are. So a, um, uh, if, if a partner completes a certain number of modules, they earn a certification that you can then print out or, or uh, use to accredit the entire partner organization. Uh, specialization. Uh, you can also give access to your partners, uh, give them access to your training events. So there's a lot of information in the training and certification realm that, uh, that you want to present to your partners in a straightforward way. Now the marketing development funds and the co-op programs are an important part uh, of PRM because again you want the, the point of PRM is to increase that engagement and give them greater access to tools that are going to help them succeed in the marketplace. And one of those uh, very important tools is access to marketing and development funds. You might have a partner who has access to these funds log in and see the different activities that they, uh, that they have available to them, what their different budget groups are, what their allocations are, how many requests they've had, 
what their approved amount is. And you as a vendor, you can actually uh, approve these partially, fully, or not at all. You can uh, better understand what your partner's marketing activities will be with you. Uh, these are co-marketing activities that your marketing development funds will be used for. And uh, they can, your partners can dive in and see even more deeply what those activities are and how you've responded to them as a vendor. So you can ask for proof of execution. You can have uh, finance approve particular activities. In this case, we're looking at an example where there's several advertising and telemarketing co-campaigns uh, co that, that have happened. So with marketing development funds and the marketing uh, activities in general with your partners, you want to make sure that your partners have full visibility into what those activities are so that you, they can best coordinate with you as a vendor. And again, the, the point of all of this is to improve that engagement, is to improve that one-on-one -on -one relationship that you end up having with your partners, and you do that by presenting them tools like this. Now, the incentives program is another way to make the partner relationship a little bit more exciting. Uh, this is a way for your partners to, um, to earn points and redeem those points for cash and rewards based on different activities that they conduct. So they might download some, uh, some collateral. They might do their first deal registration. They might be monitoring different opportunities. They might be completing training. Whatever those activities are that you want to track, you are able to, uh, you are able to give them points on the RelayWare platform. So we can understand the full complexity of the partner's behavior and reward them accordingly. So that becomes obviously really important for the partner relationship, especially if you have a, a solid or a growing incentives program. So they could redeem those. There's a, there's a whole way that those partners can take those points and then redeem them. Uh, using They can view their own personal statements. They can uh, redeem them for cash and prizes. And you're giving them, again, you're giving them the access to do this uh, through RelayWare. So there's a whole tool that's set up so that you can um, so you can give them access to the prizes so that they can use these prizes or these uh, incentive points even for doing other marketing campaigns or marketing co-op programs. So you can use these points for a variety of different, uh, different purposes. You also want, to be, beyond the, the marketing and beyond training, there's one other important piece of PRM that you have to make sure is covered in any PRM that you're considering, and that's sales visibility. So you want those three pieces. You want the automation, first of all, and then you want the marketing, training, and sales, to, uh, sales visibility to happen for your partners. And that sales visibility is giving them access to information that might come from your CRM or might come from other systems that you have uh, connected to, uh, to your PRM. And you, you're delivering that information to your partners, such as customer information. So customer information might show deals and opportunities that are related to a particular customer. It might show the contacts and renewals that are for that particular customer. Uh, RelayWare also does renewal tracking, so we're able to see when uh, renewals are coming up and automatically send notifications out to your partners uh, when those notifications are coming due. So the, the flexibility of that automation is, uh, is extremely important, even in the sales visibility, even when you're giving visibility to your partners. Part of that visibility also includes the reports and dashboards that you want to make available to your partners. You want them to feel engaged with you. You want them to better understand your business model. You want them to best understand uh, what, what metrics you're holding yourself and them accountable to. So looking at things like a complete pipeline report or looking at a graphical representation of their leads um, is a very important uh, very important functionality that you need to give to your partners. You want them to have that visibility and that understanding so that they can accurately do things like business planning or they can accurately um, communicate with you about what their needs are uh, or about what deals are about to close and what deals are, are on the docket. So giving them access to a business intelligence grade report um, is also what you want your PRM to do and, and that's what RelayWare does. So, those are, the, um, those are the main ways that, uh, that, we, that we have connections to your partners, that, that through your PRM you're able to give them sales, you're able to communicate them on training and do marketing development funds. But one other, in, re in relation to CMM and, and Structured Web and the way that we work well together, 
we take up the, the task of marketing to your partners versus through your partners. So we want to make sure that you are top of mind with your partners at all times. And the way that we do that is by encouraging and facilitating crucial communication with your partners. That's through segmenting and, and profiling your partners so that you can send appropriate and relevant email campaigns. That's uh, ensuring that they have mobile notifications either on their mobile responsive site or on their, uh, on their app. And that's also ensuring that their activity streams, which I mentioned, are, are also automated on RelayWare. Um, ensuring that their activity stream keeps them up to date with all the latest information related to things that are happening in their partner organization and that it's, that's happening in your organization as well. So what we see here is an example of how easy it is using a graphical user, um, uh, using a graphical editor to send email communications out to your partners to segment and understand what your different uh, partner segments need to see and then sending communications out just to them as appropriate. And as I mentioned, the activity stream, again, very important way for your, for your partners to get an understanding as to what's happening in real time related to, uh, related to your partner ecosystem. So you're basically finding live and, uh, and less real-time ways to communicate with your partners and giving them a way that when they log into their PRM, they're able to see all of the email communications that you sent to them. They're able to see all of the notifications that may have happened in the day or the week that, they, that, they, uh, that they've been away from the PRM. So by giving them these tools, you're giving them an incentive to come back on a regular basis. And again, that's what makes, uh, that's what makes PRM so valuable to you and your partners. Thanks, Mike. That was a great overview of, uh, of the PRM. So what I'll do now is kind of just jump in uh, and, and explain the CMM uh, and the, the channel marketing management aspect of this. Before I do, just a quick overview uh, of Structured Web. What we do is help provide automated marketing solutions to help global brands drive more revenue through their indirect sales partner. So once we start to market to the partners with this PRM solution to promote your products, to promote your solutions, um, it's really only half the battle in making sure that your partners are enabled um, to sell uh, and to market to their end customers. Just keep in mind, uh, remember that through the channel, it's, it's not only enough to capture partner mindshare through the PRM, but utilizing the CMM or the, the, the through partner marketing automation tool to capture customer mindshare. So by reaching more customers through your channel partners, um, your indirect sales model rests really on the ability of your channel partners uh, to properly sell your solutions in their local markets or in their local regions. Through a channel marketing automation tool, partners need a way uh, to sell those joint solutions to their end customers in order to influence their, those buyers, in order to keep that mind share consistent, and really to raise the awareness uh, in their local markets or in their regions for your products and your solutions. A lot of the attendees we have on the webinar today are for cloud-based solutions or in recurring revenue models. So keeping that consistent marketing in front of these end customers uh, in order to remain relevant, um, keep your solutions at the top of their mind, uh, and really not to take a backseat to competitors is pretty important um, and really something that a through partner marketing or a channel marketing management system uh, can do effectively uh, and most importantly, efficiently. But, but why is through partner marketing automation important? Uh, you can see here at the top of the slide, your sales partners are not marketing experts, right? A channel marketing management solutions drastically simplify marketing for your partners and give them an easy, efficient, and scalable way for them to represent and grow their brand individually while also supporting them and generating more revenue for you. Just a couple of benefits of using uh, a CMM platform First one here, boosting partner engagement. When partners have an easy way to market, uh, when they have an easy way to sell and generate demand for their business, they're going to do it, right? So partners want to market, they want to help you sell your solutions, but sometimes they just don't know how. Sometimes they just don't have the tools in place to help to promote your brand to their end customers. Le looping this into the next point here, once partners are selling or marketing your brand and your solution effectively, they're going to generate higher quality leads. When marketing execution increases, partners have the ability to not only execute marketing, 
but do so consistently and effectively through different multi-touch marketing tools you know, that's available in a channel marketing automation platform. When partners are armed with these right tools, uh, when they have the ability to target and market to a specific uh, location or a specific target market, those leads are, you're going to see better quality leads because the marketing is targeted at a specific audience. Better quality leads leads us into accelerated and, and more overall uh, revenue. High quality leads are generated, passed to the sales team uh, at the individual partner. Uh, higher quality revenue uh, is ensured because these deals and these leads that are being passed to are end customers or prospects that are already ready to buy in the buyer's journey. Um, partners are, are targeting contacts or targeting prospects in the right areas and at the right time. Um, and thus their sales teams are much more likely to follow up properly and make sure that these prospects get turned into qualified leads or even opportunities. So once we see the sales uh, and the revenue increase, of course, uh, the optimization of marketing ROI is, is where we're going to see the most success here. This is really critical to, to any channel marketing strategy uh, and making sure um, that having uh, a channel marketing platform that allows you to monitor channel marketing activity, allows you to optimize the, the marketing ROI, can provide you and your team valuable insight uh, into the data, the marketing, and the analytics, all from one platform. Okay. Really, this slide really goes into play uh, where presenting your partners and presenting your, your entire channel marketing ecosystem with a holistic solution um, that supports all of your different tiers and all of your different types of partners. Since there are so many different sizes, so many different types, tiers, geographies, skill sets of partners in your ecosystem, all of these different partners have diverse uh, and different needs. So it's really important here to embrace the diversity where making different content, uh, creating different channel marketing strategies, um, keeping in mind the ability to support all of your different partner types. For the vendors, it's crucial and it's critical that this is done from one platform. So providing your partners with a holistic solution to enable this partner marketing uh, is really key to make sure that you have this platform in place as you can continue to grow, as you continue to expand, uh, and really hone in on the channel marketing um, that makes your company so successful. So what we'll look at first is providing partners with the right content. Um, when we look at this content, it's really important to make sure that, that the content that you're providing to your partners uh, are available for your different tiers or your different types of partners to consume. For your mid-tier partners, your smaller to mid-tier partners, what they really like to see uh, are the ready-made campaigns that all they have to do is go into a system, select the campaign they want to execute, have their marketing, or sorry, have their assets, their logos, their contact information automatically brought into, the, into that marketing campaigns so they can just send it out. Really for your larger partners, what they like to see and what they like to really have provided to them is downloadable content, raw materials, marketing playbooks. So what they can do is just digest the information that you provide to them, take that, and then use their own systems to send out marketing to their end customers. Now, once partners have the right content available to them, it's important to also give them the right tools that they need to execute this marketing. We'll start with the marketing automation up top. The automation aspect is really an important foundation for a channel marketing ecosystem because it drastically simplifies the processes of getting marketing for partners while also creating that trackability of the marketing activity. So when you send out a pre-prescribed email campaign or some sort of retargeting or content syndication campaign, you have all the processes and the journey already set in stone. So utilizing the analytics on the back end makes it a lot easier to track the successes of the, of the marketing campaigns or of the marketing in general that you're sending out. Next, the integrated marketing and the subscription marketing that we see here is, is really crucial when you're having your smaller partners and when you want to enable those smaller or perhaps those you know, smaller and mid-tier partners with marketing, what we've seen is that giving partners the, uh, the option to opt into marketing only once, to make them say yes only once at the beginning, we've seen a lot more results and a lot more partner engagement than perhaps providing them different marketing campaigns where they have to say yes every single time. 
So giving them the ability to subscribe to marketing is really uh, uh, a nice foundation for getting a consistent marketing stream to their end customers. And finally, uh, providing your partners with some support resources uh, to make sure that your partners with different marketing capabilities know how uh, to utilize the systems that they have in place. So with the self-service library, um, partners can access all of the different content and the tools that they need uh, and send it out at their own pace. With the marketing concierge, um, programs here can be fully managed and actually executed on behalf of your partners. So if you have different tiers or different groups of partners marketing for your various different solutions, you can send out marketing on their behalf. And finally, the full service marketplace is where smaller, mid-tier, and large partners alike can shop, can sift through uh, accredited marketing agencies to really help them uh, to get that customized marketing campaign, and then if they'd like to have it executed on their behalf. So with all of this, without the marketing enablement and without these effective tools, partners really lack a way to market to their customers, to create awareness, to inform buyers at the right time, and ultimately stay top of mind um, with your solution. In our uh, channel marketing management platform, all the marketing enablement for all partner types, um, the right content, the right tools, and the right resources come together in what we call the Partner Demand Center, or the PDC. The PDC uh, is where vendors can provide various solutions to all their different partner types. <clears throat> Partners can access this information, uh, steer through different content, um, and access specific content that's, that's made for them uh, to send out to their own end customers. From the vendor side, you can see here a nice little setup of, of really different directions in which the vendor has chosen to, to steer their partners in. They can get started setting up their account uh, all the way down to actually sending out webinars and events. But what we want to focus today is on the marketing library. One of the most important parts of a through partner marketing automation portal is this content library. So right at the beginning of the PDC, uh, vendors can steer their partners in this direction to make sure that they're getting the right content uh, and the right materials to send out to their own end customers. Inside of the marketing library, you can see here the different activity types on the left-hand side, uh, the different campaign names that the partners can go in uh, and search by. So vendors have the ability to go in to categorize content, to tag these assets, to make sure that partners can log in and access relevant content that's made specifically for them. What we want to focus on here is the scalable content distribution, which can ultimately lead to efficient processes uh, in a way in which uh, vendors can provide all of their partners with content that's made specifically for them. Vendors also need uh, to focus on content management. So what we have seen a lot is when vendors go in, they create their content, but it's not made specifically for the channel. Vendors are providing partners with content that they can't really use or really don't see the value in um, because it's not made for channel, what we call here uh, channel-friendly content. For partners to use the content that you're providing with them, you need to create this content to make sure that they actually want to go in and sell the solutions that you're selling. So you can see here, ABC Company, it's highlighted. My partner name, my partner information is automatically co-branded and automatically brought into this email. Um, what we want to do is separate this content into different sections that's customizable, that's editable, so that brand messaging can, remains accurate, it remains consistent, and most importantly, it communicates effectively with the partners and customers. Now, the most important thing when you're creating channel marketing or channel-friendly content is having the ability to go in to translate and to localize this content for their partner's region or for the partner's locale. So having the ability to automatically go in, to have this content you know, translated right on your channel marketing platform so partners can select this content in their specific language. They can customize it. They can make sure that it's ready for them to send out. They don't have to wait two, three, four weeks in order to get an email or a marketing campaign translated into their local language. And the next thing you know, you know that, that, that solution, you know, it's, it's three, four weeks old, and the content is no longer relevant. So enabling your partners to download this content uh, in different marketing forms um, is what we call our self-service model. 
So what you can see here is 15 different integrated marketing tools that allow the partner to go out and effectively sell your solutions through different marketing tactics. It's crucial here to remember that all of these different tools are integrated. So the tracking, the analytics, and the reporting on the back end, you're really easily able to tell the end customer buyer's journey from that first touch email you know, that leads to a microsite. The microsite is tagged with Google retargeting and so on and so forth. So you can see exactly where the customer goes before they fill out a form to, to download a white paper or to download a document. Partners' needs are diverse, uh, and to give them really a prescriptive mix of these integrated marketing tools is crucial to make sure that they're effectively selling and marketing your solutions. The other option here uh, is the full-service marketplace for your partners. And this is really where the tie-in uh, with, with a PRM like RelayWare comes into play, where partners can use their MDF tools or their MDF funds to go in, like I mentioned earlier, to sift through different marketing services, to go through and really browse by specific vendor or by specific marketing agency. They can go in, select uh, a marketing tactic or a marketing campaign, pay for that with their MDF funds. Um, and what this really enables is the connection between marketing professionals at an agency um, and then the right person at the partner um, who can execute uh, this full-fledged marketing program. Of course, the most important part uh, of doing the marketing is, is generating and capturing leads. So making sure that, uh, you know, um, an email campaign, a landing page, the ABC company security logo is automatically merged in. On the right-hand side there, you see the salesperson's name. You see their email address, their phone number. There's really no additional work done by the partner in order to get all of their information out to the end customer. When the end customer eventually wants to go in, fill out a form, have that form pre-filled out with end customer information so they can very easily go in, make sure that their email address is there, their company name. As you all know on this call, if you approach a form and the form is already pre-filled out with your information, you're much more likely uh, to fill that out. And finally here, really working in, in collaboration with your PRM, make sure that the leads that are generated uh, can be displayed properly into your PRM so partners can have access to that and follow up as necessary. Mike, if you just wanted to talk a little bit here um, about the leads, yeah. then we can follow up with the reporting. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, um, as Sam was saying, lead capture is extremely important for, uh, for PRM to give that visibility to your partners. So we've had great success with, um, with putting all of the leads into one place and ensuring that 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 portion of the pipe uh, going from lead to opportunity um, and then to an eventual deal um, is, is captured all in one place on your PRM. And, uh, and through our integration in this, in this way we're talking about it, that handoff happens very seamlessly. Exactly. Um, and once that handoff happens and once the leads are turning into opportunities is really when we can tie the strings on this and, and get that end-to-end -end reporting optimize the marketing ROI, view exactly uh, your different regions or your different, um, you know, your different campaigns that have been sent out, uh, view that either by a specific partner, by a location on our map here, so you can really get that full reporting capabilities. Now, Mike, I have a quick question for you. Do we really need both? Do PRMs <laughs> and CRMs really work together? Absolutely, Sam. Absolutely, Sam. So, so as we say here, it's crucial to enable your partners on both fronts, but really it's like saying you want to market to your partners, you want to have their mind share, but you also want your customers' mind share as well. And in order to have both of those, to have the best of both worlds, you need to have both PRM and CMM. Exactly. That's, that's what very well said. You can see here the car that, uh, that we alluded to in our beginning slides with, with the gasoline in the car. You need both to run. Here you can see that sports car that we talked about ready to go, making sure that the end customers that's, that's buying uh, your products and your solutions uh, are making sure that through the PRM and through the CRM that mind share is captured. So, Mike, did you just want to talk a little bit here about how we can provide that seamless partner experience um, for, for a joint customer that we have? Yeah, sure. One of our uh, – we've got a great customer, uh, Kaspersky, who uh, not only went with the PRM, but they also wanted a structured web CMM. 
and they put it all what we're looking at here is their is their portal view so we're looking at how what a partner sees as soon as they log in and it's very easy for them to click on the marketing tab and see their PDC as we were mentioning before the partner demand center and very straightforward for them to have this integration so we're able to not only give them the sales tools, the deal management tools, the uh, products and services information, but also give them information related to their marketing efforts. And then once they can log in there, um, where they're brought to is that partner demand center where the partners can go in, they can access the different content through the marketing library, or they can get steered uh, and put on that specific track to make sure that they're properly getting started and all of their content and all their different uh, brand assets are properly into the demand center to make sure that the campaigns go out not only uh, in a timely manner, but that those campaigns are effective, uh, and most importantly, that they're uh, efficient in keeping that end customer mind share um, when they're looking to ultimately purchase a solution uh, or a product category. If, and if I might jump in, we're, what we're looking at is uh, when we talk about a strategy for to and through partner marketing, it's really understanding how important both of those are to driving revenue in your channel. Um, we, know that how, we know how diverse the channel has gotten, how competitive the channel has gotten, and we know that to deliver the best revenue and the best success for all of you and your partners, you have to have both of these solutions uh, in play. Absolutely. So just to wrap up with some of the benefits of really the integration between a PRM uh, and a CMM integration, we'll start up top uh, for you as the vendor. What it does really is give higher engagement and optimizes your channel performance from the partners that are on your solution. Um, make sure that your partner selection for specific campaigns uh, goes properly, that you're marketing to your partners with uh, the right campaigns at the right times. Um, as Mike alluded to earlier with the MDF, with the incentive points, offer the tools that promote the most success. So on these tools really, uh, display um, certain features or certain benefits to make sure that your partners are really using all of this in a proper way and that they can see that the marketing that they're doing or that the activity that they're doing inside of a PRM uh, leads them uh, to the successful pathway. And then finally for your partners, what they can do is with all of the marketing content and all of the marketing materials available to them, it allows them to grow their brand as a partner while also generating leads and helping to sell your solution as the vendor giving them the ability to easily execute effective marketing to their customers, whether that be through the self-service model, the marketing concierge model in which marketing is being done on their behalf, um, or the full-service agency model where they can go in and browse by specific service, by specific agency, uh, to make sure that there's, uh, you know, to make sure that they're getting that right campaign out to the end customers at the right time. So one more slide here, and then we'll jump into questions. Um, I know that a couple of questions came in to Allison, so we'll touch on that briefly at the end. Um, but just some success here, Mike, if you would just yeah, want to walk through. Yeah, the results. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the results. What are we delivering to you? What are we delivering to your partners? And it's, it's increasing that level of engagement. By increasing engagement is how you're going to get them to be more connected to you, be more loyal, and be better versed in communicating with your end customers so that they can improve, uh, improve revenue. So. We're looking at great gains in marketing execution, a huge number. We've seen, at least for Kaspersky and, and for a lot of our customers, we've seen something like five times the leads generated. So you're able to see leaps and bounds of, uh, of, of results coming out of uh, PRM and CMM uh, integration. Deal registration value and ultimately greater revenue for them and their partners. All right, so thanks, Allison. I know there's a couple of questions that came in, so if you just want to sift through those. Yeah, so this first question is for um, RelayWare. So, Mike, um, does the RelayWare PRM system integrate with other systems? Absolutely, absolutely. And we know how important it is for, uh, for any PRM to integrate through single sign-on, through APIs, with a variety of other software solutions out there. So it's a great question. Um, we play well in the, in the software ecosystem that, uh, that everybody lives in these days. And of course, if you have specific questions, such as which CRM or what other channel technologies, uh, Mike Maturo, give, drop him an email. So the next question here is um, for Structured Web. So is Structured Web like Marketo or Eloqua, but 
for partners and not for direct sales force? Mm -hmm. That's a great question as well. Um, you can see here that Marketo is, is a really great tool, but what that is built for is for vendor-led marketing, is for the direct sales model. Uh, and really where Structured Web comes into play is enabling and empowering your partners to do marketing on their own, whether that be through, like I mentioned, the marketing concierge model in which the vendor can send out uh, you know, prescriptive marketing on behalf of their partners. Partners can subscribe to a specific uh, marketing automation tool through the system. So what we found is that while Marketo is, is an excellent tool for the direct-to-customers to model, it really is not that effective when you're dealing with the channel marketing uh, management model um, or when you're dealing with a channel program as a whole. And that's, like I said, um, where Structured Web comes into play. Thank you. So can you tell us what size companies, the vendors, typically need a RelayWare and or a Structured Web solution? Yep, Mike, you can start uh, off. Yeah, I'll take a, take a stab at that. I mean, that's a great question as well. And I think it, it's not so much the size of the organization. It's really about what channel model you're looking to, looking to go after. Are you really committed to the channel? Are you really committed to not only having the mind share of your partners, but committed to having the mind share of your end customers? So you might be, we, we've got customers that are very small with just a few dozen partners, companies that are all the way up to tens of thousands of partners. And, um, and they're using integrations like this, and it's because they've, they've made the commitment to the channel and to say, look, we want to make sure that our partners understand us. We want to make sure that our end customers understand our partners. Mm -hmm. And like, just quickly jump in, like Mike said, it's not really the size of the vendor organization, but really the channel partners that you want to focus on. And both of our tools, Structured Web and RelayWare, uh, has the ability to scale out to support all of your different partner types, whether that be from the smallest mom and pop yeah. shop to the largest DMR, um, DMR partner who just wants to go in, access the materials, and then execute it on their own. Thank you both. So another quick question here is on content translation. Can each of you speak to how RelayWare and how Structured Web deal with content translation? Sure, excellent question. Um, in our platform, we have uh, an integration with an enterprise-level translation company, SDL, and what it does is all you simply have to do is select the languages that you want your marketing content to be available in. Um, the partner uh, or you as the vendor can go in, click a specific button, and within, you know, within no time at all, that translation is done. What we've seen actually is content, um, you know, translation capabilities taken down to uh, about a week for an entire marketing campaign through all the different multi-touch marketing tactics that we offer. Your content can be available then, so partners can very easily go in, um, select that content in their specific language or in their specific region, blast it out, and then the results there speak for themselves. That's great. Yeah, it's, um, it, we have full multilingual, multi-currency capabilities on RelayWare. We know how important it is to have a PRM that's fully globalized, and, uh, and we support any language out there, um, any, any language, double-byte languages, um, and currency. Mike, you actually just reminded me to, to say something as well. The user interface of Structured Web, we've recently come out with a, a development here where uh, the user interface can automatically detect the region in which the partner is logging in from. So all they have to do is log in, um, confirm that the, the language of the user interface is, is correct for their region, and just like that, the entire platform can translate into, uh, just like Mike said, really any language that's available. Great. Okay, so we have some questions here um, that are all very similar that are about handling third-party lists and CAM span law and opt-in laws. Can, can you all talk about how you handle these? Sure. Um, Structured Web is compliant with all spam laws. Um, we've never really had uh, a customer uh, or even really any end customers come to us complaining about that. Um, so if there's specific needs or if you have specific questions about that, um, you can see my contact information below. Um, but as far as uh, compliance, Structured Web is fully compliant with all laws throughout throughout the world. Yeah, we're fully compliant as well, and we ensure that we ensure that um, that your partners have the ability to unsubscribe if uh, if they're, if needed. But um, for the most part, we've seen really big success in uh, just committing those campaigns out to your partners and ensuring that they uh, that they get the information they need. Okay, 
Uh, so a couple more questions here. We've had quite a number right. of questions. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah. So is there <laughs> one solution or one vendor between the two of you that I should start with? Start with us both. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends really um, uh, what you're looking uh, to, to accomplish through your partners. Um, you know, if you're looking to really promote specific marketing campaigns or enable your partners with incentives, uh, or MDF then, then absolutely with RelayWare. If you're looking to uh, provide your partners with marketing that they can do through, uh, that they can do to their end customers, if you're looking to, to give them a, re a way to really promote your solutions, your products, uh, your specific, you know, your content, then absolutely with Structured Web. Um, but both tools together is really the right way to go um, in making sure that you're providing your partners with that full end-to-end uh, -end marketing capabilities uh, of a successful channel partner ecosystem. Perfectly said. Perfectly said. Yeah, guys, I should remind everyone that it, honestly, if you have a relationship with an industry analyst, they, you should talk to a serious, a forester, a gardener. I mean, we're biased here, right? So uh, <laughs> a third party can can help help put you where you need to start. Um, okay, so next question, and actually, this is our final question, I believe. Um, I understand that the partner has a seamless experience, but is me the vendor? What is my experience like managing these two solutions? Well, the management experience for RelayWare is, is just as intuitive as the experience for your partner. We know how important it is to make sure that multiple types of administrators, multiple types of vendors, uh, vendor users can use RelayWare uh, to change its reports, to change its workflows, to change email communications and to manage the content and the uh, and the, uh, the content and collateral on your site so it's um, it's a very straightforward process that we can go into in more detail uh, later on yeah absolutely completely um, yeah that's that's right if from managing from the channel partner side with with structured web um, you know promote your content through relayware um, see the results when the partners are using that in a system like structured web um, there's really a, a seamless experience there where it's not like it's managing, you know, if, if you're a parent, you're managing, you know, two kids. It's really managing one well-behaved, well-behaved kid. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Allison, you know, I know there's a couple of questions that came in. Um, any specific questions regarding um, differences between our solutions and any other solutions on the market, you can direct them to either myself or to Mike. Um, pricing as well, please feel free uh, to shoot us an email and we'll be happy to set up a more in-depth overview call of our specific solutions. Fair enough. Okay, so one last question. Uh, I see that there are differences between CRM and CNM, but isn't there overlap? Well, there's, there's, I mean, there's some overlap in that we work with your, that we work with, that we're making your partners the centerpiece of your, of your channel ecosystem, but. Um, you know, we, we, it's much more complementary than it is uh, overlapping. I mean, we, CRM is solely focused on uh, marketing to your partners and in ensuring that, uh, that they have the tools and resources they need. And then CMM is giving you the, the tools, giving your partners the tools they need to market to their end customers in the most appropriate way. So, um, so I see it as a very complementary type of solution. Completely agree. Okay. Thank you both so much for your time. and. We have a huge audience here, so thank you everyone who has attended. Uh, you do see Mike and Sam's email addresses up there, so for specific questions, give them a shout. We will send everyone a recording. And thank you for your time today. Thanks, Allison. Thanks, Allison. Yep. Thanks Mike. Thanks, everyone on the call. Bye-bye, Sam. Bye.